So as 2017 grinds down to an end, so does another anime season. And as 2018 begins its slow march into existence, so does another anime season. What is up YouTube? It's RS Mario here bringing you another anime video. This time we shall preview the winter 2018 anime season. The first season to kick off what looks like a really awesome year for anime. So what do we have in store? Let us see! So first off, we have Grand Crest Sinki. So Grand Quest Sinki is a story that takes place on a continent ruled by chaos. The chaos breeds disaster, but the lords of this country basically have a crest or a specific ability or a mark of the saint, as it's called, to calm the chaos so people can live happily. Now, of course, with great power becomes great greed, as it were. So the, so the lords go to war with each other and they basically want to, you know, get as much power as they possibly can. <sighs> so, of course, this leads to a young mage and a young knight to go on a mission to kind of, like, save the world. You know, they, they both have different intentions. They both have different kind of objectives. But they're essentially helping each other out. So this show is interesting because it comes from the same people and the same story as Record of Lodos War. Which is something I've been wanting to watch for a while. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye out on this. And it has the word Sinky in the title. You know, and it keeps reminding me of Arslan Sinky. And how we're never going to get an end to that show. So I might as well watch something that's similar. Coming in, coming out. No one let me tell me now. No tsunami leather. You can see me, but you hear me loud. But Kikoku basically follows a uh, the story of a 29-year-old neat woman. So she's basically like a weeaboo hermit type of... Kind of like the chick from, um, from MMO Junkie. But this one is way different. She basically lives in a house with her father, her brother, a couple of other her relatives. And they are all kidnapped by some weird organization or weird group of people. And they give her 30 minutes to come up with the money to pay for them or they're going to die. So I'm sitting here like, well, that, that, that seems like an egregious and unnecessarily short amount of time. She can't come up with the money. And so basically she gets a knife and she's going to go find these people and murder them for her family members. Then her grandfather gives her this mysterious stone that can stop time. So then her and her grandfather and her father go off to you know stop these people but of course they find out that those people can also move at least that's what i get from the synopsis so the entire world has been stopped time stop style except for the people you know who are you know evil and them i mean it's definitely interesting i want to see where they go with it <laughs> <laughs> So this one is a big one of the season that everyone's been talking about. I actually had to research myself because I saw the, the trailers and stuff and I was like, okay. But Violet Evergarden. So Violet Evergarden basically follows the stories of a girl by the name of Violet who is an auto machine memories doll, I believe that's what they call. And basically she was essentially like a, a cyborg like robot is basically used to help people, you know, in like situations where like they're a writer and they need writer's block or just situations that help out humans. Eventually she was used for military applications and now she's going back to being used just to help people and just everyday issues. And it seems like this is going to be like a, an episodic show that does have a big arcing story. Uh, and just from what I have heard through research and watching other people's videos on this, it looks kind of interesting. I mean, beyond that, it looks literally amazing. The animation is ridiculous. Everything in this picture moves. Like, 
It's just ridiculous. So I'll definitely check that out in like what five months, whenever Netflix drops it, because this is a Netflix show, so we don't have to wait until the entire show is done before we get to watch it legally. Yay for piracy! Something I probably won't be able to do since you know net net neutrality is gone. But hey, it's his life. I say This one's got kind of a long name. I'm going to have to read this one. So, Death March Kara Hijimaru Isekai Kyo Sokuku. Yeah. So, basically, a 29-year-old programmer, Suzuki Ichiru, finds herself himself transported into an RPG. Like, I haven't heard that one. That's some new stuff right there, Japan. Within the game, he's a 15-year-old named Sato. At first, he thinks he's dreaming, but his experiences are ve are ve seem very real. Some more SAO type of stuff. Due to a powerful ability he possesses with limited use, he ends up wiping out an army of lizard people and becomes a high-level adventurer. Uh, Hisatu decides to hide his level and plans to live peacefully and meet new people. However, developments in the game's story may cause a nuisance for his plans. So essentially, he's gonna hide out and chill, even though he's got this uber OP ability, but stuff's gonna happen to make him have to step up and be a hero. I like fantasy shows, so I'm gonna give it a shot, even though, I mean, it can't be as bad as Isekai Jesus, Isekai Cell Phone Jesus. <laughs> oh man, which I'm sure I'm gonna have to review eventually, since seemingly that show, that dead first impression it is one of the most watched videos I've done recently. It's got like 500 views. So I'm probably gonna have to review that show now. Thank you, people. The next show we have is Marchin Madchen. Uh, so basically, Hizuki Kagamura is a normal girl who lives a normal life. With her relationship with her family is not going so well, she retreats every day to the world of stories and books. And one day, she is transported into a fantasy magical world where she can learn magic. That's the gist of it. So it's Isekai with a woman or a girl. Again, I like fantasy worlds. It gives me kind of a, uh, 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 what's the name of the show? Um, My Witch, Ac uh, Little Witch Academia vibe. So interesting. I mean, I'll give it a shot. You know, again, you know, I give things a shot. <laughs> So, next show is Hakata Tonkosu Ramens. I don't know what the Ramens plays a role in the show or not, but whatever. But yeah, so at first glance, Fukuyo, Fuku, mm, Fukuya City seems like a peaceful one, but under the surface, crime is running rampant. The city's Hakata Ward is home to professionals of the underworld, professional killers. Detectives, informants, professional revenge seekers. So I'm guessing that they're like professional killers, but they only kill people that you're trying to get revenge on. I mean, that, that's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Um, let's see, seekers, oh. revenge seekers, and those skilled in torture and more. And according to urban legend, even a killer of professional killers exists in this world. So, I, I mean, I'm guessing that, you know, since Travis Touchdown is up in this anime, that's going to be nice. 
So, um, when stories of the man, of the men in the underworld are told, a professional murder, a professional killer murderer appears. So, wouldn't that be the killer of professional killers? I mean, because the way they explain this is like it's two characters, but I think I'm still gonna give it a shot. But that was that was hardly written. Beatless. So next one is Beatless. Uh, <laughs> weird name, but okay. So in. 2105 AD Japan, the humanoid android Hai Hai became part of the of people's lives and was handling the things humans could not do. Uh, Indu Orato, unlike his friends Kinoko and Ryu, who hate Hai, uh, felt sympathy for Hai, which are supposed to be just objects. So I'm thinking he, he gets a thing for the high E chick we see in the cover. Um, so one night, Arato suddenly gets assaulted by mysterious falling cherry blossoms that make high and machines run havoc. Will the cornered Arato be saved by the mysterious high Lucia? I don't know, interesting, it's, you know, but definitely give, I'm giving that one a shot too. So, next one is Killing Bites. So, just reading the synopsis of Killing Bites, it, it kind of, I'm kind of getting like a Juni Tyson with hot fairy chicks that's pretty much what i'm getting from here because of course these like biologically engineered people these biologically engineered chicks they're like fused with animals or like embedded with animal dna and animal abilities fight each other while rich and powerful people bet on it that is pretty much juni tyson <laughs> I mean, except for they, they never explain why the goat man has goat horns or why the tiger lady has tiger, you know, well, I haven't finished the show. They might actually explain that, but they never explain why any of these other people have these connections to animals and why nobody else seems to but them. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much Juni Tyson with like a dash of etchy. <laughs> And the last show, and arguably the show I'm looking forward to the most, and that is, of course, Darling in Franks, or Franks, or F R A N double X, which is a, co a collaboration between A1 Pictures and Trigger, which sounds awesome. And it's a mech show. It's a mech show. I mean, mech shows are okay. I mean, it's, it's Trigger, so I'm going to have to watch this. I'm going to have to watch this as a fan of Studio Trigger. So that's my list. Put what you want to check out down in the, in the, uh, in the, 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 the not in the description because you can't do that, but in the comments below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and keep it real, folks.